everyone. Welcome back to Graceful Living. If you are new, welcome. My name is Dina and I am so glad to have you with us today. I wanted to start this video out with a huge thank you to each and every one of you. I put out my fall home tour last week and it went over so much better than I had ever expected or even could dream that it would and I owe that all to you so thank you thank you so much for stopping by to not only watch but leave such beautiful words in the comments below you guys really touched my heart made me so happy and honestly you made me tear up quite a bit so thank you thank you thank you for all that you said and for all the new subscribers I can't believe how many new subscribers I received this week and so I'm so excited okay so today our video is going to be about a fall clean with me so I thought I would bring you along and hope to give you some inspiration as you clean too so let's get started Okay, so we are starting off in the master bath and obviously I do have my e-cloths out. I do use them on a daily basis. They make cleaning just so much easier. If you haven't had a chance to check them out, go ahead and check my link down below and I'll take you right over there. But I highly suggest checking their site every now and then for their sales. They usually have some really good ones and I'm sure I will have a giveaway here on my channel pretty soon. In the morning after I use my curling iron, I leave it out on the counter just to cool and I do catch myself using my tray to just throw bobby pins and hair ties on and then I usually have to put that away. So that's what you see me doing there. And then I go on and clean around my tray. I really like having trays because as you can see, you can slide them back and forth and it just makes things easier to clean on the counter. This little picture was taken almost 29 years ago. That was the day my husband proposed to me in the airport when I went to see him on spring break. He was living in Missouri, helping out at a church then. And so I love having that little picture there. here on my husband's vanity I also have a tray besides being able to clean around them really easily I like the idea of having things collected and in, in their place so this just gives it a sense of put together and decorated instead of just kind of all over the counter I wanted to show you this shaving balm really quick my husband really likes this and so I thought I would share that with you we first purchased it on Amazon but we've now found it at Target so just wanted to let you know all about that
For those of you new to my channel, my little journey started out on Facebook with my friends. I would do Tuesday tips and then I turned them into videos and kind of stored them and hid them on YouTube for a couple months and then kind of let everybody know that I had a YouTube channel. But I have often been asked over on Facebook and actually since I've started my channel how I clean my toilets and what I use. So I thought I would put a small clip in here of me cleaning my toilet. I know it's so weird, but I have been asked and I just want to try and answer all your questions. So this is what I do on a normal basis. It's not pretty <laughs> and I don't like doing it, but I want it clean and I want everything clean around. So yes, I do get on my hands and knees and scrub all around the toilet and the tile. Plus I do the baseboards quite often back there too. q-tips in my cleaning caddy especially for this little job all these little nooks and crannies in a toilet just get so dirty and nasty and honestly these q-tips pick it up so easily so i always have them handy just for this Besides my normal chores here in the master bath, I am going to go ahead and tackle a few extra ones. So the first one is washing down my door in the door frame, and I will go ahead and conquer my baseboards as well. I've gone ahead and finished this task in my master bedroom, so I wanted to complete it in here too. I'm trying really hard to take just kind of one room at a time instead of trying to think that I've got to tackle the whole entire house with that type of chore. So again, I did use my e-cloths. I really like the way they tackle the dirt in the little nooks and crannies of the door frame. It just seems to pick it up well. I know I sound like a commercial for e-cloth, but I really, really do enjoy using them. They just make cleaning that much easier. So that's what I use. One more extra chore here in the bathroom and that is vacuuming my vents. I love my new vacuum. I've had it about three months now but I really like the wand and the suction. It does a great job. Really quick tip, as you vacuum your hard floors, try it with the overhead lights off and see how much more dirt you see by using just your vacuum light.
This season, I have been all about my candles. So now that my room is sparkling clean, I thought I would light this one and just make it a little bit more warm and inviting as we walk back in. Okay, now that we've stepped into the master bedroom, I wanted to share with you one of the things that I try to focus on the most when I am cleaning my master bedroom. And it may sound funny, it may sound a little odd, but I honestly try to focus on prayer, especially on this side of the bed. This is my husband's side of the bed. And so I take extra moments in this time to pray for him. I want to pray for his day. I want to pray for his mind, his spirit, and his heart. I just want him to be covered with God's goodness and grace. And so this is a time where I am touching his side of the bed. And I just feel like it's a great time to pray for him. Now here in the master bedroom, I have gone ahead and done some extra chores the day before. So I have already washed down my doors and my door frames and the baseboards. And actually while I was down there doing that, I went ahead and I wiped off all the bottom halves of the furniture. So today I'm simply focusing on the top halves and just all of the little knickknacks and everything that I have around. I don't do this every day, obviously. Um, if you saw my last cleaning video, I really like my Swiffers. They do a great job. But when I'm looking for a deep clean, I do go for my E-cloths. I really like what they do. I like how they tend to keep the dust at bay, especially with so much black furniture. Black furniture is obviously a dust catcher. But for some reason, and I don't understand it, when I do use my E-cloths, the dust stays away for quite a bit longer. Now this is obviously something that is a little extra also. Generally what I do is I just run the Swiffer by these, but every now and then they do need a little bit more than a Swiffer, especially because we do have a ceiling fan in the room. And as we all know, they throw dust around like crazy. So I did go ahead and do another extra step at taking care of cleaning those frames and that wall a little bit. As night began to fall, I thought I would take a few pictures and add them to the video of the ambiance of the lamps and the lights and the candles throughout the house. I really enjoy having my lamps on. I just think it makes everything just so much warmer and inviting, so I like to put them on. Now we're gonna be heading into our command center. So Amy, if you are watching, here is our command center. It is very simple. I use an Ikea paper roll and that is a towel rack 
that I have it on. I make up our calendar each and every month. I keep my shopping list here. We have a cork board with stamps and just kind of a little line um, with some clothes pins on it to keep little things. I have a little box there for receipts that I might need for the month um, if I need to return something or anything like that. It just keeps everything kind of sorted. I know where we all need to be, what we need to do and that kind of thing. And so I really enjoy my little command center. Now, obviously here I'm in the laundry room. I just had a couple things to do and just wiped up the top of the washer and dryer and called it good and that was done. If any room in the house gets the most wear, it would be this one. Our office always seems to have just an accumulation of either fingerprints or the dogs are throwing pillows around. Our couch there is not the best. We actually need to get something new there. It just doesn't hold up well throughout the day, but it is a room that we all congregate in a lot and we use it together so that's always something that is very special to my heart i love being around my family and spending time together i love that our boys still enjoy time with us so this room is very special to us all even if it does get a little worn throughout the day Millicent loves her people. I don't know if I've introduced her to everyone, but this is Millicent and her brother is Maverick. He's our little black and white Frenchton. Um, he is a rescue. Millicent we actually bought as a puppy and she has been the sweetest thing. He is too. They, we just love them both. They um, are spoiled rotten babies or I guess we should say they're very, very loved. <laughs> but this is their favorite spot. They love to sit here and look out the window and bark at everyone and everything that goes by. I'm sure you noticed I placed a picture on my video of my vacuum cleaner. I have tried to link it so many times, but I think it's actually a vacuum made specifically for Target. So anytime I try to link it, it links it to my Target. So I thought I would place the picture in my video and maybe you can just take a screenshot of it and put it into your Target store if you are interested in it. I really, really do like this vacuum. I had a stick vacuum. I've actually had a couple of them and I thought that I was very impressed with them, but my carpet is doing so much better now that I've gone back to a conventional vacuum cleaner. This one does come apart and it becomes a stick vac. It has um, a great wand and 
actually even a smaller wand that comes apart and each time you take the vacuum apart to use one of those wands the light changes from the bottom to each part of the wand which is a really really nice feature but the section on this thing is just amazing my husband did a lot of research um, when I told him that I needed a new vacuum and I'm so glad that he did because I actually had a vacuum that is really well known and was kind of all the rage a few months ago in my cart and I'm glad I didn't get it because it was a stick vacuum and I just don't know that it would have done as well as this one does so if you are looking for a vacuum I would definitely look into this one we did purchase it on sale and so I know Target does put them on sale on every, every now and then and I would just wait for that time I know I've mentioned it before, but this bio cleaner is my absolute favorite for my sinks. I think it does such a great job. I do have it linked down below in my description box. My mother-in-law purchased it for me and I'm so grateful that she did. She knows my heart and she looks out for these little household products for me. Um, I'm so glad that she does, <laughs> but um, thank you, mom. I do appreciate it. Anyways, this stuff works so well on my sink. So she gets it at QVC, I think. I'm pretty sure it's linked down below to QVC. Um, but anyways, it does a terrific job. It makes my sink so clean and shines so much. So I use this probably about once a week, unless I've really been cooking or something's gone on in the kitchen that it needs it a little bit more. And then after I get it done, now it does kind of let go of the tarnish kind of so don't use a nice clean rag after you get this rinsed off I do go ahead and I use my e-cloth and you'll see that in a minute they have a stainless steel cloth and I really like the combination of them both and I just keep my e-cloth right down on a little command hook on the back of my cabinet under my sink There's my Maverick. He is definitely a mama's boy. He just thinks that the sun rises and sets in me and he wants to be around me all the time. Actually, right now, he's not doing his best. He's at the vet and he has been there the last couple of days. We just found out that he has some arthritis and the injections they gave him they just really upset his stomach so they decided to keep him and try and get all of that under control for us so i'm a little broken hearted and missing him because i just feel like he's really missing me so if you would say a little prayer for our maverick i would greatly appreciate it or just send him some good thoughts that would be great but anyways i am gonna go ahead and finish up here in the kitchen again i'm using my e-cloths they do such a great job um, of not leaving streaks or smears or smudges and i think that's why i like them so much i really wish i would have known about them or i guess just invested in them a little bit earlier as you can see here i am applying a stainless steel spray which is great it's spray away stainless steel and it is again linked down below in my description box i love the idea of um, what it does to my stainless steel but I have found once you use a stainless steel spray, you cannot change it out or not use it anymore. And so it's something that even my e-cloths, I can't turn around and use those now. I've got to stay with that Sprayway um, stainless steel cleaner. So 
If you haven't started a stainless steel spray, don't. Just try to either get like the e-cloth um, for stainless steel or try something else so you don't have to mess with sprays for the rest of your appliances lifetime. Okay, the last couple areas that I am going to cover this evening is this little dining area and our living room. Now, I am trying really, really hard to kind of dial my cleaning style back. I have always been OCD and a little bit, oh, I guess over the top when it comes to um, my cleaning practices. And so the other day I did go ahead and I cleaned in here really good with my e-cloth. So tonight I am just using my Swiffer. I used to just kind of keep it going all the time. Um, I had a hard time if I started cleaning something, I wanted to continue it throughout the entire house. And so I'm trying to just take a little bit each day or even not every day but every other day or whatever whatever works for me um, like right now I'm working on my doors and door frames so I will take the time in the afternoon to clean one whole door and both sides of the door frames and then walk away from it um, in the past that would have never happened I would have done every door in the house and then continue to do the baseboards and then maybe even do my grout it was just never ending until it was all done and so I'm really trying to just like I said dial it back I'm not as young as I used to be obviously and so I get, I get tired <laughs> <laughs> and I don't need to do it like that all the time. It's not necessary. Um, I think that our house stays pretty clean um, on a normal basis. And obviously we don't have little ones anymore. So that helps. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to think smart and. friends I am going to begin wrapping this evening up I hope that you've enjoyed this video and it might give you a little cleaning motivation or it might help you to kind of dial it back yourself maybe encourage you to turn on some lamps and light some candles and just sit back and relax in your lovely home and again I want to say thank you to each and every one of my new subscribers I am so blessed by you coming on board and becoming part of our little graceful living family thank you for all the beautiful comments everyone you have made my week so special here on my channel you've touched my heart and I'm grateful to each and every one of you if you are new and you haven't subscribed yet please consider joining our little family this community has just been a tremendous blessing to me and I know that it will be to you as well but in the meantime I hope that each of you have a great rest of your week remember to stay safe be blessed and I hope to see you in the next one bye